guys welcome back you know my last video was pretty fun I was doing the uh, rubber restoration restoring some rubber pieces for the Fox body and uh, you know it was a lot of fun mainly because it meant I was going forward and not backwards finally so uh, today we're gonna continue that and I've got something new we're gonna do uh, so check this out Look at all these parts all these parts and pieces everything bagged and tagged and, you know I was actually gonna do a video on putting back the uh, windshield wiper motor and then I go to grab these bolts right here and I was like oh my gosh I, I can even do this one thing without having to do these rusty bolts so almost everything in all these bags is rusted corroded caked with grease uh, you know, some were originally black, some were originally uh, zinc plated and silver. So, uh, and I may or may not want to go back with those same finishes. So I'm going to do a, a little video series here of restoring all the different types of metal pieces in here with different types of finishes. So today's video is actually going to be on stripping these down to bare metal. So I've got a few steps we're going to do. Uh, but before we get started, let me do a, a couple close-up shots. All right, so here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to do one of these wiper bolts. You can see there's a lot of corrosion in there. There's some rust in the head of the bolt. There's some rust. A little bit of oxidation. So we're going to do one of those bolts. We're going to do one of these little brackets that holds down the uh, this is probably for the brake uh, no for the fuel lines so it goes kind of like that one right there it goes down here underneath so as you can see it's uh, heavily coated with grease and junk I'm not even sure what color it was I'm assuming this was a black oxide finish I may actually go back with a silver finish, more of a chrome type finish. Um, and then the other thing I'm doing today is one of the strut bolts. So as you can see, it's got a lot of rust, dirt, grime, but it looks pretty bad. So I think I'm actually going with a black finish on these because my uh, struts are black. Matter of fact, all that stuff's right over here. My struts here, and they're black. And then my spindles here are black as well. So I'll just have the black bolts in there and make that look nice and clean. So the very first thing we're gonna do is use some degreaser and a little brush and just clean all these as well as we can before we even start trying to strip these down to bare metal. So I'm just using some super clean degreaser. You can use simple green, whatever you want, and a brush. And I'm going to tell you everything I'm going to use today. Some muriatic acid, got distilled water, some baking soda, and a couple of glass dishes here. I have a small one here since I'm only doing small parts. So that'll fit in there just fine. So I have this small dish I'm using with muriatic acid. I've got this larger one that I'll be using the distilled water and baking soda in. Um, so that's how well, I have these two different dishes here. You could use uh, plastic tubs if you want. I wanted to go with clear glass just so you could see uh, what was happening when I'm doing this cleaning. So it looks like it's getting ready to rain. So uh, let me go and get these parts washed here outside.
and yeah, it started pouring. This is what started washing in. So, uh, you close the old garage door. Okay, so as you can see, this does look better. It doesn't look as rusty, but you can tell it is still rusty. And it's got a lot of that surface build up off of there. And this looks much better. The head there, still a lot of corrosion in there that you can see, oxidation, some rust. And now uh, you can see the silver starting to show through around some of the edges there of the head of the bolt. But it's not black, it's kind of a gray, like a charcoal gray. I want it to be a little bit more black as it would have been 33 years ago. And this piece looks much better. You can see more rust now that the grease is gone. Uh, and you can tell it looks like maybe it was silver, possibly down underneath there. I don't know, maybe it was black. It's hard to tell. I think I'm gonna go silver on this. So pick these three pieces just because uh, you could tell it could be challenging. Uh, I mean, any of these you could uh, blast. Matter of fact, I've got some blasted bolts right here for the control arms. These were blasted, they're nice and big, easy to use in a blast cabinet, easy to hold and move around. Uh, my friend Justin blasted these for me because I don't have a blast cabinet. So that's why I'm not blasting any of these. But you can tell some of these could be challenging and they are small. And trying to get down in, into some of these uh, little hidden areas could be challenging. Maybe, I don't know, I don't have a blast cabinet. And then also, maybe if you were to use a wire wheel and try to get all this stuff off, it's possible, you know, a wire wheel mat, get down uh, and remove all the rust, and it could be hard to get into these uh, recesses as well. So, and I've got a lot to do. I'd hate to have to blast all these little pieces or wire wheel or anything else. So that's why we're using muriatic acid. Uh, so the first step we're going to do is, actually, let me move the camera. Let me get this camera set up. All right, I hope this angle isn't too weird, and I hope you can hear me. So, let's get this step out of the way. And our first step is going to be muriatic acid. Now, this stuff is very hazardous. I actually have a fan over here I'm going to turn on right now, so you may see some things blowing around. You're going to want to wear uh, gloves. And you're going to want to uh, wear eye protection. And possibly a respirator. I'm going to crack this garage door open here in just a minute. on your skin you want to wash it off immediately just get it on your clothes remove the clothes wash your skin off it will burn your skin burn your eyes burn anything that should be all we need be careful dropping this in So 
as you can see, this stuff is going to town. Once a bubble is forming, discoloration of the water there. And we're going to let this sit for about a, uh, maybe about an hour. And uh, we'll come right back out and see how it looks. While that's working, we're going to uh, go ahead and put some distilled water in here. Maybe a third of a gallon there. I'm going to add about a, a couple tablespoons of baking soda. Here we go. And a piece of cardboard. Perfect. So the reason we have this distilled water and baking soda is to uh, neutralize the muriatic acid. So when we pull, it up, pull these parts out of the muriatic acid, we'll drop them in here and um, that will neutralize the acid. And then we should be done. So we'll see you in about an hour. One hour later. Okay, so it's been an hour and I got a lot of little floaties down in there. Let's take these out and see what it looks like. And as you can see, this is definitely down to bare metal. All the zinc coating's been removed. Clean bone bare steel. And this still looks black. It does look to be bare, no rust, no corrosion. Same with this little piece. So I'm just going to go over this with a brass brush just to make sure it's clean. So you can see there's uh, a lot of little bits and pieces, little floaties coming off of there even in the rent, so there could still be some residue on here. I'm gonna hit it with a brush. This one, same condition, if I can get it in focus. It looks really nice, really clean. Again, looks brand new. There's my clip, come out nice. I just hit it with a brush really quickly. I didn't really do too much to it. Looks good. Now let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Difference, right? I mean, this is like night and day. It's like brand new versus uh, old and crusty. I mean, the clean bolt could literally be brand new, yet it's uh, 33 years old. 
All right, so I've got this done, and now what? So we need to decide what type of finish we want on the different bolts. Um, that's it for this video. So my next steps I take with these pieces that we just did are gonna be in my next set of videos. And it's all gonna depend on what type of finish we wanna have. Uh, you've got black oxide, you've got just a zinc coating that's gonna look similar to this. You've got a bright silver uh, finish, a chromate. You do yellow chromate or blue chromate. So we're gonna cover all that in all different videos. I don't wanna put it all in one video because this is a lot to watch just to find one little piece uh, that you wanna do. So I'm going to uh, break these up into different videos. I'll put them all in a playlist. So that was it, quick and easy. Wash these with degreaser, soak it in muriatic acid, Rinse it off for a second, brush it with a wire brush, and now it's clean. So please leave a comment down below if you thought this video was helpful, or if you have any other uh, tricks you use to uh, clean up old metal pieces. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And we'll see you next time. See ya!